And on behalf of the Hoffman Estates Arts Commission and the Village of Hoffman Estates, I'd like to welcome you here this evening. This is our fifth annual reception for our artists that we display here at the Village Hall, and we're very pleased to see all of you here today. The um, order of events is that when I'm through speaking, we'll have the mayor come up here, say a few words, and uh, we'll introduce our trustees to you. And um, the schools will be called up by Jerry Arnson, another member of our staff, and one at a time they'll come up here, receive their certificates, and uh, get a picture taken with the mayor, and then out into the lobby to see some pictures that are uh, out in the back. They're on a, um, in the computer that you might catch your son or daughter's picture out there, um, and also have some cake, lemonade, or coffee. So now I'd like to introduce to you the mayor, Hoffman Estates, uh, Mayor Bill McLeod. It's a great pleasure to be here this evening and see so many of you here to recognize and honor the young artists that we have in our community. The arts uh, certainly are a large part of bringing a great quality of life to people and enriching their environment and their lives, and we really appreciate the efforts they've done. It's interesting, when we moved into this building, Michelle Palafis, who serves as the uh, chair of the Arts Commission, looked at the wall and said, boy, this is like a wall in an art gallery. We should make use of this. And uh, she and the Arts Commission have done to very great effect. And, it's really nice to walk in the village hall and see people going around looking at all the pictures. So we do appreciate the efforts of the Art Commission. I have with me some of the elected people who represent you. We have Trustee uh, Gary Palafis. <laughs> Trustee Gail Vandenberg. <laughs> Trustee Gary Stanton. <laughs> Trustee Anna Newell. And Trustee Karen Mills. <laughs> Trustee Mike Gate is around here somewhere. I know Village Clerk Bev Romanoff is preparing the uh, council chambers for our 7 o'clock meeting. So we appreciate all the hard work of the elected officials. Without any further ado, let's get uh, let's honor these these young artists. Well, we had a lot of artists display this year. Fifth year. Boy, we're going big guns. Next year we're going to have even more kids, I hope. We had uh, 14 schools. And the uh, two schools that are on the walls right now are from uh, U40, or, yeah, U46, and that is the Lincoln School and Timber Trail schools. I've got a bunch of uh, certificates up here for all the kids who had their work on the, on the walls over the course of the year since uh, December when we started. And uh, I'd like to call the school and uh, any representative from that school, if they would come up, I've got them grouped together by school. The first school is Advanced Preschool, uh, St. Peter's School, St. Peter's Lutheran School. I see some kids raising their hands. Okay, I'll tell you what, you kids from St. Peter's, why don't you come up here? Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. All right. I'm gonna for you kids from St. Peter's, I'm going to bring these certificates over to school tomorrow and they'll be passed out at school tomorrow. How's that? Is that okay? All right. Uh, St. Hubert School. And I see their teacher is here too, Sue McCarthy. We had uh, 26 kids from the school there. We have uh, five, six schools from District 54. We've got uh, Eisenhower Junior High, Armstrong, Churchill, Lakeview, Lincoln Prairie, MacArthur, and Muir. School District 15, we have two schools, Thomas Jefferson and Frank Whiteley. And then we have District U46. We have two schools there, working with Lincoln School and Timber Trail School. The teachers, Tom Grohalski and Steve Rao.
Hi, good evening, everyone. Uh, you've been entertained for the last few minutes by the Armstrong fifth grade hand chime choir. We're very pleased to have them here under the direction of Judy Hayes. And if you believe it or not, they just started practicing about five or six weeks ago. Four weeks, she tells me. And they're doing a great job. 